is a significant milestone not only for badminton but the entire sports in India as a whole. It is a moment of immense pride to see such a distinguished gathering of elite players, passionate sports organizers, promoters and sports lovers. I sincerely thank each one of you for your presence here as we celebrate the rise of Indian sports to a new heights. This center stands as a testament to our relentless commitment to creating world-class infrastructure for promotion of excellence in sports, both in Orissa and across India. However, this ambitious journey would not have been possible without the unwavering support of the Dalmia Group and the government of Urissa led by Sri Mohan Saran Majiji. I personally like to acknowledge the great contribution of the Honorable Chief Minister of Urissa, Sri Mohan Saran Majiji, for development of badminton and in sports in general. As a president of Badminton Association of India, I seek his continuous guidance, support for the development of badminton in Orissa as well as, as well as in our entire country. Under the visionary leadership of Honorable Prime Minister C. Narendra Modiji, India has now emerged as a global powerhouse in sports. His mission mode approach has made sports a priority in every Indian's life. This high performance center is a key step in realizing his vision, which seeks to transform sports into a tool for the development of individual, communities, and the nation. Through this initiative, we are not just fostering athletic talent, but empowering our people and strengthening the nation. This center will give a significant boost to realizing the dream of Prime Minister for a strong, vibrant sporting culture in India. The Badminton High Performance Center has long been a series dream of the Badminton Association of India. Today I stand before you with immense joy as we not only inaugurated one of the finest badminton centers in India, but also one of the best in the world. The facility will be a cornerstone of Orissa's sporting legacy and will leave an indelible mark on the state sporting history. The idea for this center was conceived and I am, very to, very, I am very happy to inform that when this idea was conceived, Puniji did talk to me. He showed me the entire design and I told him immediately that this is the best thing you can do for the state of Odisha. Please go ahead. And today I am happy that I am here in this Jaya education amongst all of you. I'd like to personally thanks Mohanji for inviting me for this occasion. Mene jab drawing dekha, mera khot ka bohut issa tha ki jab ye banega musko ek bar jorur dekhna tha, dekhna hai. Lekin ye mene nahi sosa tha ki Mohanji mujhe bulayega iska inauguration ka din mein. Mein Mohanji ko mera bohut hridai se, mein Mohanji ko dhenna ba dena sa hunga. As you celebrate this monumental day, it is important to reflect on India's proud history in badminton. Today, Indian settlers consistently top global performance, certs, and it fills every Indian with pride to witness their achievement. In a journey of Indian badminton, the national championship was initiated in the year 1934. The Badminton Association was also established in the same year. Since then, Indian badminton has come a long way. Prakash Nath was the first Indian to reach the final of the All England Championship in 1947, followed by George Lewis and Nando Nateka, who put India on the international map. The 1950s and 60s saw more star emerge 
with Nandu Natekar, Suresh Goel, and Dinesh Khanna making waves internationally. Dinesh Khanna's goal at 1965 Asian Championship was a pivotal moment in Indian badminton history. However, it was legendary Prakash Padukan who truly took Indian badminton to new heights. At just 17, he won both junior and senior national titles in 1972 and he went on to become the first Indian to win the prestigious All England Championship in 1980. Padukan visions and dedication revolutionized the sport in India emphasizing the importance of fitness and structured training. His success inspired many including the iconic Pulela Gupisan who won the All England Championship in 2001. In recent years, Indian badminton has truly come into its own on the international stage. Saina Nehwal, who became the first Indian to win an Olympic medal in badminton in London 2012, was followed by P.V. Sindhu, who won a silver in Rio 2016 and a bronze in Tokyo in 2020. In 2022, our men's double men's badminton team made history by winning the Thomas Cup for the first time in 73 years, defeating 14-time champions Indonesia. Moreover, Satik and Siras, who both are here today, their victory in 2022 Commonwealth Games and their subsequent success in 2024 Asian Games, becoming the first Indian men's double pair to win gold at Asian Games further cemented India's place as a global force in badminton. Indian women also made a history in 2024 when they won Badminton Asia Team Championship for the first time ever. Jodi Aponoko, a mobility of Holagila, the Bama channel could like, share, or subscribe Karipaku Jama Bibulon to night.